Here we are. This is Scott. He's in town. We got everybody in town. Look at this. We got. Hey, hey. What's up? We got Beth. She's uh, eating for two. At least that's what we tell everyone. Um, we've got Rusty here. He's stealing. Whoa, whoa. We got some crazy glare going right now. But uh, we're swinging around the table. We got Scott. And he is enjoying himself with some. See if we can zoom in. That is the mother of all cows. Though. Half the cows. Good golly! Did you say half a cow? Because that's about how big the thing is. Then we got his his lovely wife Kelly right here, all the way down from Canada, eh? <laughs> and uh, she's uh, she's pounding the wine. Oh look at that! She's vlogging it with her hand. And then and then matching her is uh, Kristen Nicole with her Starbucks coffee. Shout out to Starbucks. Oh yeah, my bad. Shy. Now is that shy or like shy? How do we pronounce that? What's the Hollywood? You can call me Kristen. That's all right. Okay, that's cool. Then we got Judy. Hey, what's she having? Chicken marsala. All right then. Sounds good. And then my mom. What's up? Tony's. Uncle Tony's chicken pasta. Okay, let's get that in there. All right, that was good. Woohoo! <laughs> so we got the new patriarch. <laughs> Skip at the head of the table. Hey, cheers! It's a heavy log, this girl. It is. And he passed the red wine. He passed the red wine. He brought his best girl with him. You don't have to be this very Linda, well, hello there. And Tanner's here, but he's chilling like a villain. Then we got Nancy. Hi. Hey, what's up? She is, uh, she is hungry. Look at her go. She has got to eat some food. <laughs> and then we've got Kelly. They're really close. Who's really close, and she's like seven weeks prego, so that's awesome. And I'm not talking about the marinara. <laughs> Well, we gotta we gotta come around here. We gotta start with with uh, we're gonna start with with Rusty. Uh, you gotta give us one of your favorite childhood memories. Hmm. There aren't any. There aren't any. All right. Next is Scott. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough act to follow. Yeah, well, go over to him. He's got lots of good news. All right, we'll head on over to Scott. So you're wanting a memory of Grandpa? Yep, sir. My favorite memory is when he took us to uh, Miramar Air Force Base, right after Top Gun was filmed. And Top Gun was like the coolest thing in the world to me. It was awesome. And having lunch at the officer's quarters. Yeah. That was, yeah, still my favorite movie, so that was, uh, that was the moment I remember. So who are you? Who am I? Are you Iceman? Are you Maverick? He's Maverick. Yeah, are you Goose? Uh, no. You're Maverick. Maverick. All right, we got Maverick. No, I don't look that good playing volleyball, but... <laughs> and it's Hunter Boy. Oh, no, really? <laughs> and you met... Nice uh, you. When, when was the first time you met Frank? Um, actually at Beth and Scott's wedding. And we actually saw him about five months ago. Christmas, just before Christmas, about three months ago. Right. And it was wonderful just to hear about his life, and he showed us his pictures, and it was a privilege to meet him. All right, here, here. And Kristen, shy. She's not camera shy. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> We're going to have to edit that out. Okay. And what was one of your favorite uh, childhood memories of Grandpa? Um, my favorite was going to visit him in San Diego. Nice. Quality. Quality and moving on down the table. Playing playing. What's up? We got Judy. 
Or is it Kathy? Which one is it? I can't tell. Which one of the knuckleheads are you? The one who doesn't I'm Judy. You're Judy over here. I was way wrong. Yeah, they have different haircuts. I'm going around asking everybody what one of their favorite memories of Frank was. I know that one. I think driving from the cabin down the Central Valley and seeing the alien in the sky flying over. Someone cut her off. <laughs> that was really yeah, that's enough exciting. House yeah. <laughs> no doubt. We did. We really did. I remember well, shooting off the rockets and the and the we shot, we shot rockets off on the beach. Remember those rockets? Yeah. So very soda. Rockets. We got us all these soda rockets and we shot them off on the, on the beach and then, of course, Skipper and Rusty started aiming them at us. Sweet. <laughs> we, we had the girls hopping. <laughs> and trips down Cash Creek. That's great for right now. And Charlie's Cabin. Charlie's Cabin. Charlie's Cabin. Here, here. Here's Charlie's cabin. Charlie. Charlie. The Charlie's cabin. Excellent. Throw it off, folks. Christian. Yes. And here's the Charlie. Yes. yes. And here's the, the Charlie and Frank. Charlie and Frank. After a, after a whole bomb of his house where he went down and helped fix the outhouse at the Girl Scout camp. <laughs> that was the story. Operative word here being girl. 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 Girl Scout <laughs> I really did these. Are you less shaky when I tripod myself? <laughs> That's Jim Beam. Yeah, Charlie and Frank did the Jim Beam. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, Jim Beam and a barbecued ribs with mustard. Barbecued ribs with mustard. Barbecued ribs with mustard. Excellent. There you go. Like uh, honey mustard? Any kind of mustard? Uh, I think it's kind of like a spicy mustard. It's messenger. Yeah. Like messenger. Oh yeah. Yeah. Messenger. There you go. Do the regular rub. Good stuff. And then messenger. And then Charlie's famous and then Langston. 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 His famous burned black chicken. <laughs> burnt black chicken was when he and Frank had too much Italian red wine. Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> here's the, here's here's the Cajun black and chicken. Woo! Or the red wine, whichever you prefer. Whichever came first, I think it was the red wine. <laughs> and uh, we'll move on to Skip now. I think those were my memories right there. <laughs> now I'm, you're going to narrow it down now. I'm putting you on the spot again. Think of all new ones. Narrow it down now. We got to do the formal. And now skip. That's when he, uh, Frank and Catherine thought on my arrival that I was rusty. They went into the whole spiel on rusty, so I just kind of went with them for a while. That really gave me some insights to rusty. <laughs> From their perspective. <laughs> Did they uh, finally realize that you had too much hair? Yeah, they said, oh, you're Skipper. I, then I knew it was time to move them north. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And uh, Tanner, where are you, buddy? You got any memories? No, he's out of the loop. He's got that whole language barrier. <laughs> Linda? <laughs> all right, and that's what we're all about here. All the people you do not want to see are there. Yeah, people you do not want to see. A little bit too much. Maybe Frank had a premonition. They were in that training mode. Training mode. And Nancy, we got one minute left, so you got to crank on it. I came home one night, 
late. Oh, yeah. The TV was on and Frank sprawled out in front of a camera start. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. And Rusty, we've come back to you. Yes. What now? We gave you some time. I don't want any time. Any fond memories? No. Any fond memories. That's too wide a criteria. Okay. Any. How do you narrow that down? Hey, engineer. <laughs> oh, you had plenty of them when the camera was somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, buddy, what's up? All he is to take us out skinny dipping all the time. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't get this on film. <laughs> Maybe you should. It could be ugly. Yeah. All right, we got a big family here of people all getting together to remember the thoughts of our. Uh, Dearly departed Grandpa Frank, and uh, it's a wonderful time had by all. We're having some wine, but well, he's not because he's a wussy. We're having some good Italian food, and uh, people are wishing I didn't have the camera. Anywho, bye bye now.